hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's jazz i know it's been a minute since i've uploaded a look i just honestly haven't had any motivation i've been tired i just i don't know what was wrong with me but i did push myself this weekend to create this quick look here using the kylie under the sea palette if you want to see how i got this look please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe so I'm starting off by priming my eyelids and no, I'm not using the MAC Paint Pot. That's like my go-to eyelid primer I always use, but I forget that I have this one just because recently I figured out it applies best with your finger. I was applying it with a brush and I just felt like it would dry up and crumble. So I did start to use it with my finger. It leaves it tacky and then I don't set my eyelid. I just go in with eyeshadows. This is what the packaging looks like for the box that it came in. And then this is what the actual palette looks like. Super cute. With a fluffy brush, I'm going into that shade Shore About You. And I'm using that as my transition shade. Each layer I go in with, it becomes more of like a peach brown shade. I actually really do like it and I'm happy that this shade shows up on my skin tone. So far, I'm not noticing anything different with this formula and this palette. Um, I'm not having trouble blending this out whatsoever. I do like that it shows up just because some of her browns on the palette tend to be too light for my skin. Um, and I like that this shade does not have that much kickback, which is really nice. Not that it really bothers me. I just feel like it creates more of a mess. With a smaller, fluffier brush, I'm going into the shade Welcome Aboard. And I really wanted to use this more directly into my crease and outer corner. But this shade was not showing up. As you can tell, you can't even tell the difference between the first shade and this shade, which really bummed me out. And in the palette, it actually looks darker. I thought going in with multiple layers and quite a bit of eyeshadow would really make that color pop, but clearly it didn't. doesn't even look like I'm doing anything to my eye. It kind of bums me out because I was hoping that that was a darker brown. And also in the palette, this shade does have quite a bit of kickback. Decided to see if I can darken it up with the shade My Treasure and I used the same brush and this honestly didn't make that much of a difference either. I feel like you can tell more of this shade than Welcome Aboard, but I was pretty bummed that neither one of these shades showed up as well as I wanted it to. So I'm going in with multiple layers just because I noticed this shadow actually showed up better than the other shadow with multiple layers. So I'm just building it up and blending it out. So I decided to find a different brown from another palette and I used the darkest brown shade in my Anastasia contour kit and I just used that on my outer corner and into my crease and this is the type of brown that I was looking for. I'm not looking for a really dark dark brown but dark enough where you can tell on the eye and just to smoke it out just a little bit.
I'm really happy that I decided to use this shade. It really made the eye look look better. I'm just bummed that this palette didn't have a dark enough brown like this to use. But, you know, it happens that every palette has a brown that you're looking for, specific shades you're looking for, so I have to move on. Now with the flat brush, I'm going in with the shade C Pearl, and you could not see this with the brush. I had to go in with my finger. I just feel like her shimmers look better and apply better with the finger. And then before I actually placed the shade, I cleaned up my eye off camera, and then I set it with the shade Hook You In, and that's a really pretty matte beige shade. Next shade I went into is Salty Sweet, and it's more of a bronzy shimmer, and I just placed it directly on top of Sea Pearl. I also did purchase two shimmer eye glazes in the shades Aqua Mama and Night Swim, which are super cute. My top two favorite out of the four. I mean, look at how beautiful these are. It's so blinding. They are very creamy, so I do recommend making sure that your lid is tight. You don't want them to dry out. And they also do have um, chunky glitter in it, just in case you're not a big fan of that. I decided to also add that shimmery shade which is called seashell kisses i had a trouble saying that um this is also very chunky glitter and i just placed that right on top of night swim i went back in with the shade my treasure and just touched that up a little bit and blended everything out I feel like the glitter is not picking up that much on camera, but in person, it's super cute. For the lower lash line, I just went back into all the brown shades I used on top and mixed those together. Can't forget an inner corner and brow bone highlight, so I went back into that shade C Pearl. So I wanted to do something different with my lower lash line, so I went in with that green shade called B Pacific. It's a shimmery green and it's actually really cute on your lower lash line and it just brings that pop of color to the look.
Just adding my favorite mascara by Urban Decay. It's the Perversion Mascara and I just apply that to my top and bottom lashes before I applied falsies. Now I'm just applying some falsies and unfortunately I don't know the style of these. I just know that they're from Huda Beauty. I lost the box that I had these in and unfortunately I have to put them in a lash container and not know the name of the style, which sucks. Alright guys, so this completes the eye look for today's video using the Kylie Cosmetics Under the Sea palette. I'm happy I filmed again. I was in my little funk, but it feels good to get back to filming. It's more of a de-stressor for me, so I will be trying to upload again a couple times a week. Thank you guys for being patient. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share. Let me know what you guys think about this look, and I will see you guys in my next video.